Hello again and welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is BGFH and I'm back for another iOS accessible game slash blindfolded video here. And we are looking at, yes, another blindfold series of game, uh, another game of the blindfold series of games. This time we are looking at Blindfold Biggle, <laughs> which is the um, non copyrighted version of Boggle. So, yeah. We are looking at Boggle, essentially, which is basically you have a, f you have a, a grid of letters. Uh, this was a board game that I remember playing a little bit growing up. And the problem that I always had, so you had, the, you, had this four, you had this grid of letters, and you had to make as many words as you could within a time limit. So I don't remember what the physical game, I don't remember what the actual time limit was. Um, the Blindfold Biggle version here, it has four different op or no six different options you have a four by four five by five or six by six grid and then you have an untimed and a timed version of each so we're going to start and we're just going to do the simple one the four by four grid untimed so we can go through and explain the game but before we do you know you have your typical um, blindfold stuff you know you get a free it's a free game but you have the coin system so you get like 10 coins to start with and then you get more you can either watch an ad or you can buy extra coins or if you want this version there's only one paid well there's two paid upgrades but you can buy coins or if you were smart you would just pay the five bucks and then you have unlimited play so which is what i would do there's no add-ons or anything like that um it just you know goes with it whatever so um yeah, that is, you know, your typical blindfold stuff. Um, again, I would recommend going into the help and looking through the manual really quickly just to kind of look at some of the gestures that the game uses because, you know, the, you know each game, depending on what the mechanics are, depending on what the goal of the game is, you're going to have a little bit of different uh, game mechanics to work with. But um, this one, you basically swipe up, down, left, or right to navigate the board, double tap to choose a letter, and then you tap once with uh, two fingers to make a word. Now I tried recording this video once already only to realize that I was making a stupid mistake and I was getting frustrated. Originally I thought that you could own, that you could make letters as long as they were on the board. <laughs> no, you can't. Um, the letters seemingly have to be, if I'm understanding this correctly, they have to be connected in some way. So like up, down, left, or right, and I think you can do a diagonal. So we are going to try a 4x4 four by four. Four by four game. So 4x4 four by four timed. timed. We're not going to do a timed yet. So let's do a 4x4. To four go by back four. to the main menu, swipe up with three fingers. Starting 4x4. Four four. So thankfully, one coin to play. because these are self-voiced, you can hear corner, them. And letter. I don't have to hear a voiceover. Oh. So... Um, we're on this 4x4 grid. It starts you in the upper left, naturally. And we got some background music, which is just relaxing. It works. Uh, I don't mind that at all. And you can adjust the volume of that in the settings if you want to. One feedback I would say is that... Um, and I looked under options. There doesn't seem to be a way to do this. You know, they say this is a game for sighted and blind people alike. But if you look visually on the screen, those letters are very small they're like you know standard size type letters and you know not just for fully sighted and blind but if you want to have a combination of a low vision user who can use a maybe a combination of speech and um their vision to kind of eyeball the board i would make those fonts i would make those letters because yeah i would make them much bigger if you could, or at least have the ability for the user to adjust the font size under the settings, that would be a good idea because this is a word game after all. You know, you're not looking at graphics or like an arcade um, pictures or anything. This is all words or, or this is all letters. So we start with an O. S H O. Okay, so O S H O. O D O N. Good God, how many O's we're going to do here? X, E, T, G, I, G, W, T. Oh boy, okay, w, so. W, G, I. 
G W G I G. So I can do gig. Spelling is G I. Spelling is G I G. Spelling is G I G. Okay. Word is gig. So you the have to have. The letter is G. So you have to. Um, you have to you have to tap twice to do the word and they the letters have to be connected now i'm going to tap three times word cleared word cleared because i think it leaves the word on the screen or, or, or not on the screen but it keeps it in memory so like you can add to it i think t g uh, w e yeah so g I, there's no letters that are nearby that i could add I don't think so. W. Uh. G. T. B. E, X. Hmm. So the words have to be three letters or more as well. T. W. G. W. So T. T w, w. E. E. O. E. No. T. E. O. N. O D. No, I don't think I can do anything with T W to start. O N. Oh wait a minute. O. Hold on. E X E W. Oh no, never mind. E X E. That O is too far up. I was gonna say T W O, but that X that O is too far away from the W. Never mind. All right, let's go to the top row here again. Um. S H. O. Okay, S H O. O. G. O. S H O O. D. Hmm, no. T. D. O. Okay, we're going to test our diagonal theory, see if we can do diagonal. So we're going to go up here. H. Um, I, I, I'm kind of just swiping up, down, left, and right. Um, I'm trying to keep a mental map of what's in here, so... I'm not always saying what, what direction I'm swiping, um, but I will tell you when I make a word, I'm showing, I'll tell you how I'm gesturing so you can see how I'm doing, what I'm doing, if it works or if it doesn't. So, S H. okay, so S we're going to start with S. Spelling is S H H. Spelling I'm still is flicking S -H. to the right, flicking to the right one more time. O. O. Spelling is S H O. And then I'm going to go down. O. Spelling is S H O O. Okay, S. Um, G. T. So I'm down and left. Spelling is S H O O T. Word okay. is Okay. So Two you words. can. The current letter is T. So you can do diagonal uh, in a combination. So it's up, down, left, right, or diagonal, but you can't skip a square. They have to be adjacent in some way. So I'm going to clear. Word cleared. And you want to actually, um, you want to make bigger words because you you know three-letter words aren't going to give you as many points. But what I do know that I can do. T. T. So I'm on this T. Spelling is T. And then I'm going to go to the right. G. Up. O. Spelling is T O. And then I'm going to go up again. O. Spelling is T O O. T O O, and that's a word. Boom. Word is two. Three words. The current letter is O. Now, let me see. H. D. T O O D. No, that won't work. All right, so I can't do anything there. Word cleared. So, hmm. O. So, O O D, that could be, you know, like food or good. Oh, oh, could I do. Oh, the way the letters are working, I don't. Hmm, let me see. G. So G O O H D. Okay, yes, I could. So this is going to be a weird one. So again, picture in your mind where I am. So I'm going to go o down. I'm going to go G I G. So G is on the far right, um, the third row down. So I'm going to tap G. Spelling is G. And then I'm going to go up one. O. Spelling to is my G O. o. So I got G O so far. Up one o. more. Get my D or o, o again. 
Now, remember, so we went G, O, O, it went one, two, three, it basically up G, and then up to O, up to O again, because there's two O's there. Now I'm gonna go left, H, and then go down, D, because the D is still technically diagonally down and to the left, touching that upper O. Spelling is G O O D. And it should let me do it. Haha. -ha. Word is good. Four words. So yeah, you have you D. have to wrap your mind around. I can see where some people, especially, you know, um, you work with some blind people who have, a, especially in the beginning, have trouble with spatially arranging things like in your head you really kind of have to develop a mental map and remember where the letters are on the board and how they relate to each other because it's not just up down left and right if you can kind of do like a weird twist with a diagonal as long as the you know and you can do a combination like i went up and then i went um and then i went down into the left for diagonal from where I was, but you could do like up and then right and then down and the right to diagonal. So you can do things as long as they're somehow adjacent to each other in some form. Um, so I have good. Is there anything? Like, is there like an S nearby, I wonder? O. No. D. H. So I'm returning to my... S. Oh, there is. Okay, so... Spelling is S. Oh, shoot. Okay, so I got to... Okay, so I thought it kept your word in memory. So let's clear. Word cleared. So I'm gonna go back down. O, E, T, G. Okay, so G. Spelling is G. Up again. O. Spelling is G, O, O. Up again. Spelling is G, O, O. Left, H, down. D. That's diagonal to the O. Spelling is G, O, O, D. So G, O, O, D. But then if I go left. O. And then up. S. That is diagonally adjacent to my D in the, you know, up and to the left. Spelling is G-O-O-D-S. So goods, that's a word. You know, baked goods or whatever. Boom. Word is goods. All right. Five words. The current letter is S. All right. So we should be able to do something with an S here to start. O. Uh, uh, S-O. N. Okay, that'll work. O. S. S. Spelling is S. And then I'm going to go left. O. Spelling to is that S -O. o, and then I'm going to go N, which is down. N. Spelling is S O N. Okay. Boom. We got Word a short. Sun. All right. Six sun. Words. The current now, letter is N. Now, is there anything from the N? Could I do like song? Where was that? No, the G is too far over, I think. O. No. N. So. X. No. E. Nope. I don't think I can do anything there. T. E, X. Uh, I don't think this is gonna e, work. T. Because that's like a proper slang. Spelling but I'm gonna is try T. it. E. T E. Spelling is X. X. Hey, Tex, how's Spelling it going? Is I don't think it's gonna. Oh wow, it actually Word worked. Word is Tex. Huh. Seven words. Okay. The so... current letter is <laughs> X. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention: there are a couple of different dictionaries in this game that you can do. There's a popular, which is kind of your most common words, a little smaller of a dictionary. And then you have the basically the American Scrabble Dictionary, which has a whole bunch more words in it. And then you have a British Dictionary, which I haven't done, but I currently have it on the Scrabble one, which should give me more freedom as far as more words, I would think. Uh, okay, so we made text. I, I really didn't think that was going to work, because usually proper nouns and stuff... I mean, okay, well, hey, I got to use the X. That's cool. Uh... Let's see. E. X. E. W. T. Mmm. W. E. Okay, so I can do... W. I'm on the fourth row, second column. I can go W. Spelling is W. Then I'll go up. E. E. Spelling is W. E. Then I will go left. X. And down. T. Because that's diagonally still close to the E. Spelling is W-E-T. Wet. So we're starting Word some simple wet. words here, but... Eight words. I've did a couple the longer words is so far. T. Okay, so now we're on a new word. W. T. T -W. W. I still don't think... G. T-W-G, nope. W. 
And I, if I swipe down, I hear the border dong dong. I hear that, so that can't work. T. T W E. T. Twet? No, that's not a word. G. T. E. Uh, T W E. X. X. Twex? No. N. T W E N. Oh, T W E N. If there was a T Y, I could do twenty, but. O. No. T W E N O. Or T W E O. No. D. T W E D. No. O. O. D. Uh. O. G. Okay. I could do. O here we go. D. So, uh, what am I on? The. H. D. O. D. So the D is on row two, column three. Now you can actually, which maybe might have been a good idea for the for the video, just for, so you guys can have a better representation. But by default, the grid coordinates are off because you can just free, freely swipe. Um, and especially if you're in a timed in, if you're in a timed mode, you don't want to hear a lot of extra information. You need to move as quickly as you can. But um, there are settings where you can hear like row then column or column then row in addition to the uh, letter that you're hearing. So I'm kind of just manually telling you because I'm keeping a mental map of where we are. Uh, so, and I, like I said, I'm not looking at the screen because I literally cannot read the letters. This is all, uh, this is all by ear for me because I'm just, like I said, I cannot read those letters. So we have our G or, uh, no oh, D. D. So we're going to go D. Spelling is D. And we'll go to the right. O. O. Spelling is D-O. We're going to go down. G. G. Spelling is D-O-G. There we go. Boom. Word is dog. Nine now, words. because the we can, letter is G. let's do just the opposite. So we're on G. Double tap. Spelling is G. O. Up. Spelling is G-O. Let go to the left. D. Spelling is G-O-D. Boom. All right, we got word that. Word is God. Ten words. The so current got, letter is D. So this is almost like it's it's part boggle, like especially in the time version, it's more like boggle. But this is almost like anagram. Well, it's like anagrams, except you're not working from an existing word. Here is it's just oh, okay. Here's your big old grid of letters. Well, actually, anagrams would be different because you can do it in you can use the letters in any order. These you actually have to go by them being connected in some way, being adjacent to each other. Uh, let's see if we can do a couple more words here, but we do have 10, so I feel pretty good about we've gotten 10 words. Um, you know, so I've, I've at least accomplished a decent amount with this uh, current set of letters. Um, let's do one more quick um, cruise around the grid here to see if anything pops out at me immediately. O. N. Let's see. What if I start with an N O? N O. O. D. N O. Well, that's a word. O. N. N. Spelling is N O. O to the right. Spelling is N D. To the right again. Spelling is nod. N O D. Okay. Word is nod. I wonder Eleven if Don. Words. I wonder if the current letter is. Spelling D is D. O. O to the left. Spelling is D. N. O to the or N. There Spelling we go. To the left. There we go. All right. Word two other. Don. Granted, words. these are simple letter. The They're simple letter words. N. But we're not timed, so it's like we may as well get as many as we can. And especially in a, um, you know, unless you immediately see a big word, like in the uh, timed versions, which I'll probably try to do since they're only three minutes uh, by default, um, I'll try to do a grid and see if I can at least maybe get five. And that one, I'm not really going to talk. You're just going to have to listen to the game because I'm going to have to keep my concentration on hearing the grid. But let's see. N O N O D N O D O. No, probably not. D N O D H H no D T N O D T. Oh, you know what D I could do? O N N Spelling is N to the right. O O Spelling is N O D. And then we're gonna go right and down. T T Spelling is N O T because that O the T is diagonal to the O, so we can do it. Not word is not. All right. Thirteen words. The current Fantastic. letter is. See if we can get to 15, T. and then we'll uh, then we'll quit to the main menu and try a timed game. P. 
Oh, okay. We got an E. Okay, yeah. Let's do that too. X. N. So let's go N. Spelling is N. O. O to the right. Spelling is N O. D. Down, uh, right, and then down T. to the T. Spelling is N O T. Then back to the left. E. Note. Spelling is N O T E. Boom. Got it. Word All right. Is no. yeah, this is actually words. pretty good. I kind of like this game. The letter is E. Okay. Uh. W. G. I. G. Mm. T. W. G. T. So if I start with a G. E. Okay. W. G. So this one's again. I'm going to use a diagonal. So we're on the bottom row. Uh, what are we on? Like the third column of the bottom row? I. Yeah. Okay. G. So G. Spelling is G. We're gonna go up. T. To the left. E. G. -E, Spelling is G. -E. And then we're gonna go back to the right. T. To mop up that G or that T. Spelling is G E T. Boom. Word is get. Fifteen words. So I said we will go to fifteen. Is we T. could go more. I could still try to find more letters, but to wrap up the video and we'll try a timed one just to see one thing i kind of wish like i said especially since this is a phone game it's a portable game you're not always going to have time you know for especially these longer games like spin and solve or this in-depth word game um if you're doing a non-timed version i would like to see i mean i know I think there should be a continue most recent game option in a lot of these blindfold games because, you know, I mean, I guess you could leave the app open and then just hit the home button. And when you go back in, hopefully it should just go back there. Um, but like, you know, let's say that I, you know, that I'm doing this puzzle and then I got to go to work or I got to go do something. And I use a lot of other apps. So like what, what can happen, you know, in a lot of apps is as long as the app is still in memory, when you return to it, it'll remember where you were. But let's say that, you know, I use a whole bunch of other apps in the meantime for the next little while. And then I come back to it. The, uh, this app might not be in memory, so it might just automatically start me at the beginning because it needs to reload all the background information. So in that case, maybe having a continue from the main menu might be a good option to have just for security or, you know, your app crashes or does something stupid or whatever. You know, just having that, you know, it doesn't have to retain like necessarily a whole bunch of saved games, but maybe just the most recent one you're in so that if you do need to come back to a game and you don't necessarily want to waste another coin, um... Yeah, so let's go swipe up with three fingers, your common gesture. So let's do a 4x4 four four grid, but we're going to do timed, and it's going to be uh, three minutes. So again, I'm not going to tell you my moves. I'm going to read the grid, and I'm going to just try to do as many words as I can. You're just going to have to listen to me um, swiping through. And again, I don't really want the grid information because I, that's going to eat up more precious time. So here we go. To go back to the main menu, swipe up with three fingers. F, E. K, what? F, E. E, F. F Q, J. O, ish. T, V, C, L, R, E, I, N, I, N, I, E, N, I, V, C, okay. T, N, N, I, V, C. C. Spell E. Spelling is nice. I N. Okay. N I, I V T. And okay. N I V T. T. Spelling. Word T. is Nick. Spelling is T V I. I. Spelling N. N. Oh what? Words must be three letters or more. Oh, I didn't hit. Damn it. Spelling is T I N. There we go. I didn't double tap tin. first. Okay. Three words. T -I the current letter is T T N T J Q. Q Q that's A N A I N I N A I N No I N A N A T 
Oh boy, I got T A E. What? R E. T E. R. Uh. E. A. Okay. T. This is gonna be a weird T. Spelling R E. E. Spelling A. A. Spelling T R. Spelling is T E. There we go. Word is tear. Four okay. words. R. The e. R. Spelling is R T A. A. Spelling is T. T. Spelling R E. E. Spelling. Okay. Word is rain. Oh, ear. R E. E. Spelling is A. T R. Spelling is E R. Okay. Word is ear. Uh, A. T A. T A. A. I. T A I. E. I. E. C. T A I C. E. T. T A I T. N. T A I N. I don't think so. N. No. N. Uh. N. A. A. T. R. L. T O oh, T R. T. Spelling is T. R. R. Spelling is T. E. Should be able to do something. E. Spelling is C. L. Oh, maybe not. Haha. <laughs> Word clear. Crap. C L L. Spelling is R E E. Spell okay, you can do T. A T. Spelling is. Word is let. let. Seven words. The L current letter uh, is L E T. A. Game is over. Oh dang it! No, I I tapped the screen and said game is over. I didn't get my score. Uh, how do I get? Can I have it repeat that somehow? Game is over. Swipe up with three fingers to return to the main menu, or swipe up with one finger to play another round. No, tell me my score, dang it. Game is over. Swipe up with three fingers to return to the main menu. I want to know how many words I got. Or swipe up with one finger to play I... another round. Game is over. Swipe up with three fingers to return mm, to... I would have to... I don't know if there's a gesture that I forgot. Under the lesson, or under the help area. Crap. See, that's the thing, is like you're constantly swiping and then you hear the game over thing and you still, like, you don't stop your finger quick enough and you end up making a gesture overriding the announcement. Um, how do I... What if I... Double tap? Game is over. Swipe up with three fingers to return to the main... Game is over. No. Game is over. Game is over. Swipe up with three well, crap. fingers to... Words must be three letters or more. Y yeah. Game is over. Swipe up with three fingers to return to the main menu. Um, or swipe up with one finger to play another round. Spelling is... What? Game is over. Game is over. Game is over. I'm just swipe trying different things here. No moves to undo. You found seven words. Okay, here And we you go. scored. Four points for four three-letter words. Three points for three four-letter words. Your total score was seven points for seven words. Congratulations. You should post your score to Twitter or Facebook by tapping the screen twice okay. with two fingers. So swipe swiping, up to play again, or swiping swipe up right. With three fingers to return to the main menu. Swiping right with three fingers will give me that announcement that I was looking for. Haha, -ha, so there was a way to do it. Um, yeah, swiping right with three fingers. That'll work. So yeah, you got your timed thing. Like I said, I was just trying to navigate... Um, so there was a lot of, there was one little group of letters, there's like four letters where like I was just going for a little diet, like you'd kind of go diagonal back on themselves. There was like a T-E-A-R and you could do all these different permutations of those letters. So like rate and tear and I forget a couple other ones that I did and oh, I could have done T-E-A too, damn it. Oh well. But anyway, yeah, that's actually, that is, that's actually pretty fun. Um, that is Blindfold Biggle, available on the App Store now through the Blindfold series of games. And yeah, these word games like Blindfold Biggle and um, <clears throat> and Spin and Solve, uh, I think these are a couple of my favorites of the bunch so far. So hope you guys are enjoying these. And uh, follow me on Twitter at BGFH79. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later.